Hi, how many different ways have you tried to contain your tomatoes in your vegetable garden? There are the cages, towers, those spiral things, a lot of different ways that I've tried in the past, but none of them have worked that well. I'm Kenny Point at VeggieGardeningTips.com, and today I'll show you something new I'm trying this year to train my tomatoes. I'm sure everyone has seen one of these. It's a tomato cage, and this is how m most people train their tomatoes to, to grow up. They just put the cage over top of the tomato and let the tomato grow on up. Biggest problem I have with the cages and a lot of the other tomato trellising systems is that they're just not tall enough. If you look at this, you know, this might be five foot high, but that much of it has to go into the ground. So once this is in the ground, not to mention how much of a hassle it is to try to get these that far down into the ground. But at that point, your cage is only up to this, about this level. I grow indeterminate heirloom tomato varieties, and these things get tall. They get at least this tall by the end of the season. And every year I have a problem with them. If I'm using cages, they just flop over, or they'll pull the cage down. I've tried to do things like add extensions onto the cages, but it's still, it's been a problem for me in my garden. So I'm done with the cages. This year I'm trying something new. It's a trellising system for the tomatoes. And it's pretty simple and easy to do. Something I, I discovered and found out about earlier this year at a PASA conference. But basically all you have to do is you start with the tallest post that you can find. The taller the better. And you want to sink the row. Like I have a row of five extending from this point in the garden down to that end of the bed. And have maybe 16 different tomato plants along this row. Once the, the posts are set in the ground, the next step is to get wire. I use a, a spool of 16 or 14 gauge wire. You can see one string over here, and I just run it the length of the bed. Wrap it around the first post, take it to the second post, wrap it around, and continue going on down until you get to the end of the, the row. You want to do set them so that they're pretty close to the tomato plants, but they don't have to be right on top of them. You can see here, they're offset a little bit, but what's gonna happen is, as the tomatoes grow up, I'm gonna use a clip. These are the clips that I use. I got, got these from johnnies.com, but all you have to do is basically wrap it around the tomato plant in the wire, and then they snap in place. So they'll hold the tomato close to the wire. And as the plants grow up, you're gonna to continue to add strands of wire. Like the next strand that I'll have will probably be about at this level. So this is gonna be high enough to hold that plant until it grows up to here. It's still gonna be growing pretty straight. When it gets to this point, there'll be another strand of wire coming across and going along the, same, the row the same way as the first wire. And I'll just repeat that same process. I have another clip and I'll attach the tomato plant to the wire at this point, and that's gonna hold it. I'll repeat the process again, maybe three weeks later as the tomato plant gets higher, and I can do it again and again until it reaches the top. Now the other thing that you wanna be careful to do if you try to do this, is you definitely wanna be pruning your tomato plants. You don't want to let the suckers grow, and this is something that's probably a good idea regardless of what, whether you're using cages or trellises or towers, anything that you do. You want to remove the suckers that form in between the, the leaf and the stem. For example, this one, I would just take that out, I would remove that, and it's kind of thinning the plant so they're not going to be as bushy and it will be easier to, to, to contain them and to train them as they're going up. So that's something that you will need to do, come out to the garden at least once a week and see, because they grow, grow pretty fast and you have to stay ahead of them because once they get fully developed, you know, it's harder to remove them and it's probably more stressful on the plant themselves. But that's what I'm trying to do this year with my tomato plants and I think it's gonna work pretty good. So far I'm excited about it and looking forward to seeing how it turns out. If you want more information or the details on this, this system and where I uh, got the supplies that I'm using, visit my site at veggiegardeningtips.com. Thanks for watching.